Delivery time. Check it out, guys. I'm sure you've all been thinking about solar panels, batteries, having some extra power in your car. And this is a good example of what branding may or may not do. So that's why we're here today. Unbox this. Eco-worthy. If we believe the writing on the box, let's see what's in it. Field proven to be the best for off-grid solar applications. I'm quite intrigued by that. So yeah, that's a brown box. This is supposed to be the 200 watt version from EcoWorthy. What it is, is just two solar panels and a controller and some wiring. Let's see what's in the box. It literally is two panels and some wiring. That's good to have. Normally we just throw that away. So this is our first foray into solar power. Uh, we had originally bought a whole big set for on the bus, which was about 600 watts, two big batteries, gel batteries, a huge controller, which was a three in one. And that whole thing fell through and there's a big court process going on about that. So this one is literally at the other end of the spectrum. And this is for our camping setup. So here we have it. Two cables. And this. What's in the box, man? Remember that TV show, Money or the Box? I always chose the money. Cool. Power controller. Miscellaneous little bags. So this is to connect the two panels together. And then we have this going through the roof of wherever you want your car to the solar controller. So what's in this box? Tiny little box that. So this does everything for you. Two little USBs there, which is quite cool. Comes in from the solar panels, two cables, and goes to the battery, two cables. And this is actually literally directly to your lights. You've got enough cable here. And in the book, if we want to read it, gives you a reference map. Look at all that stuff. It's in English, which is quite cool, quite handy for us, right? And it shows you what you can do. And the idea about this, what I thought is, we'll try with two, 200 watts, see what, how we go with that. We need to charge our camping fridge, our laptops, cell phones, and lighting, mainly. And also it needs to be the ignition for our uh, water heater. I think these are the mounting brackets, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. These are quite cool, they're like uh, Zs, four of them. I think they go here. And you can screw them into the roof of whatever you're gonna mount it on. So that's quite handy. A pair for each panel with accompanying screws, which is quite nice, so. Hmm, so that's annoying. These are the four little legs for the solar panel and the bolts as they describe here come in from the top but they can actually fit right through here and what they say here you need what they call a flat gasket which is basically a, a washer um, but the washer is not included so that's hurdle number one. So I just wanted to have a quick look underneath. There it is, man. Eco-worthy. 
So this should be 100 watts, and the reason I chose this one is because it's a nice width. And if we get another one of these, we can have three in a row. And we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. So here we are, man, at our destination, the vehicle, the panels are going onto our trailer. What we need to do now, obviously, is measure stuff. So here's a panel and another one. I thought I'd put them at the back, leave us a bit of room at the front here for a third panel eventually. What we do have is this, because you're going to drill a hole right through here, and that might start leaking. This looks like overkill, man. But, look at that. It's like go faster stripes, don't you think? So that must go somewhere here. Our battery is in here. First, I need to put the brackets on both of them, which are coming up like that. I have found some washers, flat gaskets as they call it in the instructions. Uh, so at least we can do that properly, which is a bit of an annoyance why it's not included. If the gap where the bolt goes through is too wide and the bolt just comes right through. So that's cool. I'm going to put all those together and then we'll come back here and put exactly, measure out where we want our panels to be. And most importantly, where we're going to drill the hole through the roof and where we're going to run our cable inside. Check it out guys, installed onto the roof man, with the brackets, these are pretty sturdy man, so the brackets go through the roof, I've put a bolt through the roof, the washer on the bottom, so it's not just a screw holding it in the wood, obviously, so now I'm pretty sure nothing will come off, I think I'll give it a guarantee till 60 miles an hour, 61 miles an hour, because our car will only do 60 miles an hour, so it will be fine. Now we need to connect the two panels together and this is why you buy a kit instead of your own things because they put most of the stuff with you. So here is two males to one female and here is one male to two females. So basically it's live and neutral together and then we're going to go through the roof to this thing here. I thought I'd put right about here. The trailer will be much more streamlined this way, man. Cool, now we've got two cables which need to come up to here and then through the roof. So that's basically very easy plug and play because it's male and female, you can't really mix it up. So now we have the two males and two females. Obviously these are now waterproof and the cable itself is like UV proof and weatherproof, which is cool. The only thing we're not, we don't have is the cable from the controller to the battery. So what I thought is I might even use some of this stuff because it's quite long, the piece they gave us. Cut this to size towards the controller and then from the controller to the battery. So let's do some drilling, man. Quite something drilling through the roof of something you spent a lot of time trying to make waterproof and now you're putting holes in it so it's a bit weird. Yeah. At least we know. Couple of screws in there just to keep it in place. They don't go right through the roof anyway. And our good friend, never leave home without it, man. Also what I thought I'd do is stagger the connections. So the one is longer than the other in order to get these connections staggered. Because if they're next to each other, you'll never be able to hide them. So now I think I'll drill some holes in here. in here and basically put some cable ties um, through there wrap these underneath keep them out of the way and that's 
flapping around man right time to put our solar controller in which is uh i think it's 20 amps right here it even says 20 amps look at that so i'm going to put it here because in here we have our water boiler this is all chairs and stuff so that's going to be a lot of banging here i'll put it about here i think because that will you can still read it nicely it's out of the way there's not much going on in this side so let's do that right controllers here mounted cool what we have here is the negative positive and these go to the battery which is down here so i've already connected the positive i've now crimped this on here and that will go into the negative and that's why it pays to have these little tools a couple of these boys always handy because you never know if you need them right and i've just cut this cable off the cable that came through the roof from the solar panels so it's the same gauge same thickness i think it's four mil if i can do my sums correctly and in that way um everything's on the same page what we need to do now as far as i can tell is first connect the controller to the battery and then we connect our cables from the roof to the controller so let's do that quickly hey we have power check it out guys 12.7 watts eco worthy so now what we could do is put our usb straight in there but these two is for the cables coming from upstairs so i need to route these make it look a bit more pretty and practical right yeah it comes through the roof down here through there through here and those are the solar panels and the battery hooked up all that needs to be done now is to connect the solar panel so nothing blew up that's all connected now and what do we have over here ah check that out looks like it's charging bros that is a result now it's time to read the manual after you've done it right so cool looks like it works let me just check the manual to be sure that the display that little thing means it's charging wow, i'm really happy with that man well there we go man there's a whole lot of settings you can do here yeah there's too much to go into at the moment it works it's charging which is a result i'm quite happy where the brackets are instead of being over here they're quite far inboard of the edge of the so that gives more um, support underneath the middle of it and we'll see man that's why we're here testing it out so you don't have to so guys there you have it man done and dusted a couple of panels on there it should be 200 watts on paper no error messages it seems to just work so it's plug and play literally i'm a bit disappointed about the washers they weren't included that's the only thing really for the rest of it Everything is there you need, enough cable to connect to the battery and basically plug and play and it works, which is really nice. Um, I chose this one because of price considerations, but mostly because of the size of the panels, because a lot of solar panels are like 1.6, 1.7 meters long, and maybe 50, meter, 50 wide. These are different, totally different aspect, and they're 100 watts each on paper. So we'll check that out as well. Uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, it's cheap enough. The price is just down here. It wasn't that expensive for what you get, in my opinion. The battery was about 110 euros for 110 hours, amp hours, which is about normal. You know, you can spend as much as you want, but we're just doing this as a quick test in the beginning. Minimum outlay, maybe 300 bucks total. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And from there, we may scale up again, fill the whole landy roof with uh, solar panels as well. So the question you're asking yourself is, are they worthy? Eco-worthy. 
I think so. Yeah, for the money, what do you want? It works. Seems to be strong enough. So, a thumbs up for me. It wasn't too difficult. I think uh, a couple of hours, a bit of drilling here and there. But a sicker flex, obviously, as you do. And now just to clean up a little bit. And then we are tick for another box done on the van. So now on to another little one. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below if you want, if you need anything. I might put a link to Amazon. We're not getting paid for this, but just so you can have a little bit more research. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one. Keep rolling.